Uh, there's a great consensus on, on moving forward, and the cost of lack like, of energy, the cost in terms of uh, impact on GDP, impact of uh, industrialization, impact even on household, individual, social, economic welfare is so huge and well known that uh, I don't see us relapsing uh, back to the era that, that are gone. I think going forward, there's a consensus on the legal framework is there now. The pillars of the new reform is, of course, the fact that government has unbundled the monopoly public provider will now have uh, separation between generation and distribution and transmission, sharing that the, the, the sector moves are going to the rules of the game. We've also you know, um, liberalized essentially generation, for example, that we now have licensed IPPs, about 50 independent power projects are licensed, and so there's a potential 19,000 megawatts capacity that could be to the grid in the, in, the, in, the, in the few years to come. Of course, also we are liberalizing distribution, there's a consistency in policy making that we've not had before and it points towards a market that is uh, uh, industry is now open for private sector market leadership and also stability will have mitigated hugely. The regulatory risk are no more in terms of expropriation in terms of um, of changing the prices according to government fiat. So the price is set by a very solid scientific methodology which we have developed as a regulator. Today, the political risk are very low. All the interesting, and that's evident the fact that all the British aspirants in the last election, every one of them committed to continuing the reform as it is. So you can see that Nigeria has crossed the Rubicon. Nigeria has entered into the mode of a market that the risks are very low. And of course, with the World Bank purchase guarantee and the government commitment, there is a greater you know, incentive for investors to come in. The transmission which is still remains in government and is now going to be managed by the private sector. The tariff as it exists before this new uh, multi year tariff order is coming up uh, in June first it is low. It ranks about the lowest probably in the region. Today Ghana is about twenty five uh, naira Nigerian naira for a uh, kilowatt hour. Uh, China is about twenty seven Nigerian naira. And we are just, you know, every tariff is about Jose is about about uh, ten naira. And, uh, about six naira, there about, and then the retail is about ten naira for the bulk of the customer class. I think we are very low, and that's why the initiative is to make our tariff competitive without, and also be affordable. Uh, we encourage that there will be some measure of subsidy, and the subsidy is being smartly deployed to meet the energy needs of the, the very poor. Uh, in order to avoid excessive great shock. So the new tariff proposal is very it's a significant employment. Uh, although it's, it's been structured in a way that the poor don't pay much, but the bulk of the, the other high earning, high consuming classes, the R, our own R3, R4, and then the commercial 3 and 4, pay a lot more, pay for the energy that they consume, and pay to cover the cost for their service.